Hi guys, I'm so glad you're here. I'm Mary LaFay with Vintage Retail Therapy, and today I'm gonna to show you something really cool. So I kind of stumbled upon this because I saw an inspiration picture and I thought to myself, hmm, I can make that. Um, so look at all the toys that we have to play with. Of course we can make that and more. It turns out I've done quite a few classes since then. Um, doing this process and everybody is loving it. And I've had so many people ask me to do a YouTube video on it. So here we go. For those of you asking, this video is for you. So these are just some of the sneakers that I've done before. So this is like turning out to be like the famous sneaker class. Like chicks love doing this. Get a bunch of friends together. Tell me in the comments who's gonna make some of these. That's one. And I'm gonna show you, you guys, it's so fun. We're actually gonna put a twist on it because we're gonna use my IOD stamps because why not, right? Look how stinking adorable that is. So I bought a pair of shoes from Amazon. Actually, I've bought quite a few pairs since then, but shh. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stamp. We're actually gonna do something a little bit different. So it's gonna be a twist off of this. We're gonna stamp plain napkins with our IOD stamps and we're gonna use the same process. I'm gonna take you through step by step. And at the end of this, I really feel like, I feel like you guys need to do this and share pics and tag us because we wanna see. So for today's project, I'm just starting with a plain white napkin. Typically every napkin has got three plies. You need to separate and make sure you're only using one ply. I'm starting with the queen bee stamp. It's really, it's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. Um, so you wanna stamp with ink. I'm using the IOD ink in black and I'm just hovering over and I'm getting my design in there. I'm cutting the paper loosely with a little bit of water and a brush and it's giving it an irregular edge. I'm hovering over my sneaker until I find it just in the right spot. Once you've got it hovered over there, you just wanna very, very lightly press your napkin down over your sneaker. Make sure you're using enough of the patina so that it saturates your fabric, but it's not super, super wet, so it won't really wrinkle up your design. And basically, you're gonna work it kind of like a puzzle piece. With each little shape, you're just gonna do that same process over and over. And then your first coat of the liquid patina on top of your napkin is gonna be a very light coat. And you're gonna add more later for a little bit more durability. After your patina has sat for a few minutes, you can start trimming it. You can do a rough cut and then go back in a little bit closer later, or it's really up to you. You can decide how close to trim it now. Sometimes I feel like it's best if you let the product sit on there and absorb and dry just ever so slightly and then it stiffens up a little bit and you can cut it easier. Sometimes when it's too wet, it will tear your napkin. So here we are, day two of this project. I had to wait for it to dry. So while I was thinking about it last night, I thought, you know, I was just gonna stamp on the sides, but I thought, let's do something different. So we're gonna add this piece. This is what we have so far, you guys. I'm really loving it. So this is just plain old napkins. And this is what we did um, with the other sneakers. And you know I'm old because I'm like, I have to put things two miles away to see it. Anybody else like that? So there's three plies to every napkin. You need to know that. And you're gonna, it's gonna try and fool you and like make you think there's only two, but I promise you, there is one more there. So you wanna make sure, <laughs> you wanna make sure you have the third one. Only have one ply. Of course I have my fan blowing here. You guys, I could do this. I don't have the, the right glasses on. Hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. Hang tight. Almost. Almost. No pressure now. Makes me want to stop the video and do it again. You guys could do this. Watch, here we go, here we go. Here we go, right here. Check it out. It's all right if it rips a little. No big whoop. You see that? Look, that's super easy. So you kind of got gypped with the Dollar Tree napkins because sometimes the design is only in one little corner. But it's all right, we're gonna make it work. All right, so now this is the third piece that I'm taking, the second piece I'm taking off. Now I know this is only one of this left. 
Let's do this. We're gonna cut it up. We're gonna add it to the sides. Let's get it done. I'm using my water and an artist brush. See that? It cuts right through the paper. Just like butter, baby. It tears the papers in an irregular shape so that it just kind of meshes in with the fibers and the fabric. You want to get enough on there that it soaks into the fabric, but you don't want to get it so sloppy. That there's just too much. Hover your napkin over it. Gently press, be mindful where you put the adhesive because that's what's where it's gonna stick. these little scissors at the Dollar Tree. I think they were in the section where the, um, well, these were in the craft section, but I found another one's very similar with like where you, the mustache, the grooming. They're with like little mustache scissors. They're perfect for this project because they're tiny and you can get in all those little, those little tight spaces. Work a few sections at a time. Don't try and take too much. The more you do this, the bigger of a section you'll be able to tackle. But when you're first starting out, trust me, you're going to want to make more than one pair. Put another light coat of the patina on there. And then basically you're just kind of making a puzzle piece. And truth be told, I'm not even sure if I'm going to do the other side the same. I may, I may do something different. Let's see. Let's see what we're feeling like. I've just attached one of those little shipping air pockets in there, but if you don't have one of those, just throw some newspaper in there. And if a piece rips off, like right here it did, no big whoop, you guys. We're just gonna, we're gonna just fill it in with another piece right on top. Let that set for a minute and we'll keep adding to it. So since I started off with not as much of a design to work with, I decided just to use the edges. Cause you know what? Scraps is gold. Sometimes all you got is scraps to work with, right? So I'm working in smaller sections and I'm just hovering this over so that it kind of blends. In fact, I'm gonna cut that a little bit more irregular. Gently pressing your napkin in. Your first coat is always going to be a light coat of your liquid patina. Gotta love the secret sauce, right? Let that dry. I'm going to go back in and trim all this little extra pieces here. Let it sit a minute. If you cut the paper, sometimes when it's too wet, it'll tear. So sometimes it's let it. It's best to let it sit a minute. And then we're gonna go back in and trim. This is why it's important only to put the patina where you want it to stick.
And you just keep working your way around. It's okay to do a rough cut. And then you can go back in and clean it up a little more. And then we're gonna put about another two coats on there. We'll see what it looks like. Isn't that great? Let me show you the one that we just did. You guys, if you're not following me on this channel, hit the subscribe button. You can find all the products on our website, vintageretailtherapy.com. I don't know, this one may be my favorite. I keep changing my mind. Can you pick a favorite? Because I certainly can't. I'm kind of digging this one. This one may be my favorite. I might've changed my mind. Although, I don't know, I love the one that we did. Let me show you. So we stamped this with an IOD stamp on a plain white piece of napkin and then we added some Dollar Tree napkins to the side and we cleaned up and trimmed up all the edges. Look how fun that is, you guys. Tell me in the comments who's gonna try this and let me know which one is your favorite. Can you pick a favorite? I certainly can't. Well, I'm off to do the other shoe. I will see you next month with another video. Ciao for now, bye-bye.